Hey everyone, in this video you'll learn how to embed a PDF viewer in your website. More specifically, you'll look at 5 ways of embedding a PDF file in your website. To get started, create an index.html file and add the document you want to embed in the same directory. One way to achieve today's goal is by using the embed tag. The embed tag is used to load external content to a website. To use this element, you need to add the following attributes. The source attribute specifies the location of the PDF file. The type attribute specifies the type of the embedded file. Its value in this case is application slash PDF. And lastly, add the width and height attributes. Open your HTML file to see the result. The object tag can be used in a native browser for PDF viewing. And it even allows you to provide a fallback if PDF is unsupported. The data attribute specifies the location of the PDF file. And similar to the embed element, you can add the type, width and height attributes to the object tag. And as fallback, add a p tag to display a message with a link to download the PDF in case the browser doesn't support PDFs. An iframe is a container for embedding information from other web pages, either as a full page or as a widget. It has some attributes that allow you to control the appearance of the content. The style attribute with value border none will remove the border around the frame. It's also possible to remove the download option by adding hash toolbar equals zero after the URL of your PDF document. This method combines object and iframe HTML elements. To do this, the fallback area of the object tag is used to host an iframe. The p tag with its content is only shown when the browser doesn't support PDFs via the iframe tag. A hyperlink or anchor element is a bit of text that, when clicked, takes a user to another location on the same page or to a completely different website. The browser will open the PDF file when you click on example. And that's all for this tutorial. Hope you liked the video and thank you for watching.